Welcome back, traders, stackers, and truthers. Silver Goldman here. We're Wednesday, June 27, 2018. All right, traders. So this is a quick little update here on what's taking place specifically on this YouTube channel, this Silver Goldman YouTube channel. Um, in case you're not aware, this is actually the third one. The, the original one uh, that was uh, opened in September of 2014 was taken down four months ago. The backup channel, Silver Goldman, um, the first backup was taken down just a few days ago, and now. Uh, this one is under attack also. So I'm going to give you guys a quick little update. And I also want to mention that uh, up until this ends up taking gets taken down, which I, I hopefully it, it won't, I'll show you, share with you guys what's going on and uh, let you know what's, what's happening. But in case it does, before it does, you may want to join up here with these featured channels. This is my backup channel to my original YouTube channel, which was named Connecting Dots 1. So you can sus subscribe to that one. And this is my backup to that backup channel, which was originally named Connecting Dots 3, but most recently I changed it to Silver Goldman because I needed at least one platform with um, numbers relevant to my uh, real-time subscribers because the original Silver Goldman had just got taken down here uh, four months ago. I was nearing 6,000 subscribers, or just a few hundred, less than a few hundred subscribers away from that. So, uh, Connecting Dots 3 represents uh, similar numbers. Now, let's get into it. Uh, I Attack, attack, attack. You remember I shared with you guys just a few days ago, this YouTuber had made fun of me, actually called me uh, the Canadian stupid dumb retard needs to get educated were his specific words because I still have the video I'm waiting now uh, to see what's going to happen I shared with you guys it was this Tom Harris so if you guys click like on the forum to come see the video this is what would have popped up uh, Tom Harris um, that current video is under uh, the counter notification what I sent in is under final review now also today that's right today He's hit me up with another strike, another copyright claim, which is, he doesn't have a leg to stand on, but whatever. He's given her, he's upset because you may recall, this is the guy who I called out, who had, he'd, he'd um, actually reviewed Jason at Foreign Trader Boss's technical analysis course and made a video about it because Snippy was there in the comments, right? Gave him a hard time at first when he spoke out against it and then he flipped around and suddenly he was promoting Trader Boss and Snippy's course saying, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, it's a good course. No, 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 no. Well, guess what? This guy has turned around and has done the same thing as Snippy and Trader Boss. He started offering a trade calls and you had to join up and pay. It, it's obviously failed because he's been hard on for Litecoin to pop. It's failed. He made the video calling me all kinds of names, as I mentioned uh, earlier on, right? Oops, where was it here? Right here in the $75 Litecoin one where I was saying, you know, this is what? over A little over three weeks ago, I made that video. Don't be surprised when we see Litecoin down at 75 bucks. It was pretty clear there. There was some support there. So, yes, 75 bucks. Long story short, um, this guy came out calling me, you know, me, making a video. And, and in fact, I could have actually hit him on a copyright claim because he used footage in his video calling me the dumb, stupid, retarded Canadian. He used my own footage and a lot more than what you're supposed to be um, entitled to during one of these, um, according to him, educational videos, whatever. That's what I'm doing. I'm educating people on, on charting and stuff. He's trying to soak people for his course and his trade calls. Turns out he'd ridiculed me on my $75 Litecoin. And at that specific time, he was calling for $162 Litecoin. Yeah, guess which way it went. So I was correct. By the way, he has taken down that video calling me the dumb, stupid retard. But I don't care. I figured, you know what? I'd had enough of them because this Tom Harris person, I don't know who he is, um, you know, this is a name that they give to YouTube when you, you file a claim. That's the name he puts in. So he puts in Tom Harris. Could be real, could be wrong. Who cares? The fact is, I know who it is. It's Cryptocurrency Watch. I'll share with you guys uh, in this next uh, segment right there. Cryptocurrency Watch, you can see it right there. I, I hid the email address. I, I, I don't want to be hit with a uh, any type of claim of his, you know, because he has more than just this type of 
um, attack on me. Okay, guys, just to let you know, more than just a copyright, he goes for even, um, what is it, a privacy complaint? I mean, he's filed probably about five, six, maybe even seven of those. Um, Tom, as I said, I don't mind calling him out because on top of the harassment that's taking place on this channel, he's also responsible for having taken down the original Silver Gold Man. Him and Snippy took it down. The backup channel, again, Snippy and Tom Harris. Snippy hit me with the two strikes. Thomas came in and up at the third. I've had enough with these frauds. Now, apparently, Snippy, I don't know if it's true or not. This is what somebody sent me in an email, so... Please, you, you Kool-Aid drinkers, don't get upset at me in case I'm wrong on this. I'm just sharing with you what someone said. I was told in an email that apparently Snippy wants to debate me. Well, I'll debate him as long as he's not going to focus like on that last video he has up on me. If you enter the word Silver Gold Man in the YouTube search bar, you come up on Snippy's video where he's, here's the, what does he call it, the essay on Silver Gold? Trying to say to people that I've ruined his forum, all kinds of, Hocus pocus baloney. I'm, if I debate him, it's going to be based upon his financial credibility, his calls. And we're not just talking to 27 crypto. So if you Kool-Aid drinkers don't know his full history, we're going all the way back from the beginning. What he did on YouTube, telling people to buy silver on their credit cards at 40 bucks. Or well, telling them that he was doing it and they should consider doing it. And they did. It fell to 35 bucks. He's, I'm loading the boat on the credit cards. They followed him in. It dropped again, lower, down to $32 an ounce. Now they wanted to sell it. Oh, yeah. What did he do then? Hold on a second. Pull that video up. He made a video telling them, do not sell your silver. Buy more. <sighs> wow. So, he kind of did the same things with the cryptos, didn't he? Promoting using the credit card. Oh, if it drops a lot, I'm going to buy a lot on the credit card. How many people follow them into that shit? Now, hodling, you know, selling his technical analysis course up at 325 on the Litecoin, telling them all it's going over to what? 2,500 by February of 2018. Oh, yeah, according to him, his, his technical analysis was a trader boss. The people all got scammed. That's why he's had to give them a whole bunch of free trade calls. Unbelievable. In months, free. Because he can't get it right. He pull out the Tata pump and he thinks he's king shit. I'll have a debate with him, no problem. As long as it's not about, oh, you speak like that, Silver Gold Man, and you said this in my form. No, we're talking about financial stuff here. Leave the, the critique of my, uh, the way I speak English, my abrasiveness aside. That's... Not what's in the question here. We're talking about oh, people that listen to your shit show and have followed your financial advice. Actually, according to your own words, they eh, followed you over the cliff. <clears throat> Big petit. Big petit, eh? Your $1 million doomsday. Anyway, Snippy, if you want to debate, I'll be waiting for you. No problem. But let's get real about it. Let's talk about your track record. Not just the cryptos. Anyways... I just want to share with you folks what's happening here. Thomas is uh, out for me. He's hit me up with another strike. And as per usual, what happens when you get another count, another strike, I should say, your count gets, um, yeah, closed down. So just want to let you guys know where I'm at here on this specific YouTube channel.